Welcome to Florence, Italy, the birthplace of the Renaissance and a city steeped in rich culture and history. A place where every cobbled street and grand piazza tells a story, where the air is filled with the aroma of freshly brewed espresso and baked bread, and where the sound of church bells echo through the valleys of the Tuscan hills. This is Florence, an enchanting city that has inspired poets, artists, and dreamers for centuries. Situated in the heart of Italy, Florence is a city that captures the essence of the Italian spirit. It's a melting pot of history, art, and culture, a place where the past and present coexist in beautiful harmony. As the cradle of the Renaissance, Florence was the epicenter of a cultural and intellectual movement that forever changed the world. It was here that great minds like Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, and Galileo Galilei pushed the boundaries of human knowledge and creativity, leaving a legacy that continues to resonate today. But Florence is more than just a city of the past. It's a vibrant, living city that pulses with energy and passion. From the bustling markets filled with fresh produce and local delicacies to the lively cafes and bars that line the city's narrow streets, Florence is a city that invites you to immerse yourself in its lifestyle. It's a city where you can savor the flavors of traditional Tuscan cuisine, marvel at the stunning architectural marvels, and lose yourself in the masterpieces of the Uffizi Gallery. Yet, despite its grandeur and sophistication, Florence remains a city that is deeply connected to its roots. It's a city that cherishes its traditions. From the age-old craft of leather making to the vibrant festivals that fill the city with color and joy. It's a city where the old and the new, the traditional and the contemporary, the sacred and the secular, all blend together to create a tapestry of experiences that is uniquely Florentine. As we delve deeper into Florence, you'll discover why it's considered a gem of Italy. From its rich history and cultural heritage, to its stunning architecture and vibrant lifestyle, Florence is a city that has something for everyone. It's a city that invites you to explore, to discover, and to fall in love with its beauty and charm. So come along on this journey and let's uncover the magic of Florence together. Florence's enchanting landscape is shaped by its geography and location. Nestled in the heart of Italy, this city is the capital of the region of Tuscany and is surrounded by gentle hills that add to its charm. Florence's strategic location has played a pivotal role in its history and cultural development, as it is conveniently positioned midway between Rome to the south and Milan to the north. This central location makes Florence easily accessible from other major Italian cities, making it a hub of cultural exchange and commerce for centuries. Now let's talk about how the Arno River has influenced Florence's landscape. The Arno River, which flows through the heart of the city, has been both a blessing and a challenge for Florence. On one hand, the river has provided a vital source of water and a means of transportation, contributing to the city's prosperity. On the other hand, the river has also brought devastating floods, the most recent of which occurred in 1966. But the Florentines have always been resilient. They've learned to live with the river, constructing beautiful bridges like the Ponte Vecchio that not only serve a practical purpose but also add to the city's aesthetic appeal. The Arno River, with its shimmering reflections of the city lights, is an integral part of Florence's romantic charm. Florence's geography also contributes to its unique climate. The city enjoys a humid subtropical climate with hot, humid summers and cool, damp winters. This climate, combined with the fertile Tuscan soil, makes the region ideal for the cultivation of grapes and olives, contributing to Tuscany's renowned wine and olive oil production. In conclusion, Florence's geographical location, nestled amidst the Tuscan hills and straddling the Arno River, has greatly influenced the city's history, culture, and development. The city's unique geographical features, combined with its central location within Italy, have helped shape Florence into the vibrant, culturally rich city that we know today. With its prime location and beautiful landscapes, Florence is truly a sight to behold. Florence's history is as rich as its culture, with roots deeply embedded in the Renaissance period. Let's delve into that history now, shall we? The Renaissance, or rebirth, was a period of significant cultural and intellectual development that swept across Europe from the 14th to the 17th centuries. And Florence, well, it was right at the heart of it all. It was the crib 
of the Renaissance, a place where the old world was transformed into something new and vibrant. In this city, some of the most influential figures of the era walked the cobblestone streets, made groundbreaking discoveries, and created timeless masterpieces. The likes of Dante Alighieri, the father of the Italian language, who penned the Divine Comedy, a cornerstone of world literature. Then there was Petrarch, a scholar, poet, and one of the earliest Renaissance humanists. His work laid the groundwork for the cultural changes that would define the era. And let's not forget Boccaccio, known for his collection of novellas, The Decameron. Of course, it wasn't just writers who left their mark. Florence was a hub of scientific progress, too. Take Galileo Galilei, for instance, the father of modern science. Galileo's pioneering work in astronomy, physics, and mathematics challenged the conventional wisdom of his time and laid the foundation for future scientific discoveries. And who could forget the artists? Ah, the artists. Florence was home to a staggering number of them, each leaving an indelible mark on the city and the world. There was Donatello, who revolutionized sculpture with his realistic representations of the human form. Then, of course, there was Leonardo da Vinci, a man whose genius knew no bounds. Painter, scientist, inventor, writer, Leonardo was all these and more. His works, like the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, are among the most recognized and revered in the world. And then there's Michelangelo, the sculptor of David and painter of the Sistine Chapel ceiling. His work exemplified the Renaissance ideal and his influence on the art world cannot be overstated. These individuals and many more were instrumental in ushering in a new era of thought, creativity, and discovery. Their works challenged the status quo and pushed the boundaries of what was considered possible in art, literature, science, and philosophy. And it all happened here in Florence. These cobblestone streets, these grand buildings, they were the backdrop to a period of incredible transformation, a time when the human spirit soared, when creativity and curiosity were celebrated, and when the world as we know it began to take shape. The influence of these historical figures is still palpable in Florence today. Their legacy lives on, not just in the museums and galleries, but in the very fabric of the city itself. It's there in the air, in the spirit of the people, in the city's unwavering commitment to culture, art, and innovation. That's the beauty of Florence. That's the magic of its history. Florence's skyline is a testament to its architectural prowess. This city, the cradle of Renaissance art and architecture, is adorned with some of the world's most iconic structures. Let's embark on a journey through centuries of architectural marvels that have shaped Florence's identity. Our first stop is the Florence Cathedral, or Duomo di Firenze, a masterpiece of Gothic Renaissance architecture. The cathedral's grandeur is a testament to the creative and engineering genius of Filippo Brunelleschi. With its massive dome dominating the skyline, it's a symbol of Florence's grandeur and resilience. Next, we meander along the Arno River to the Ponte Vecchio, a bridge that's been standing since medieval times. This bridge is unique, lined with shops just as it was in the days of yore. It's more than just a crossing point. It's a bustling marketplace, a testament to Florence's thriving commerce throughout the centuries. Moving on, we come across the Palazzo Vecchio, an imposing fortress palace that's been the seat of Florence's government for hundreds of years. This Romanesque-style marvel, with its soaring bell tower and crenellated roofline, showcases the power and prestige Florence held during the Renaissance. Each of these landmarks is a canvas, showcasing the evolution of architectural styles over the centuries. From the Gothic grandeur of the cathedral, the utilitarian architecture of the Ponte Vecchio, to the Romanesque solidity of the Palazzo Vecchio, Florence's architecture is a symphony of styles, each adding a unique note to the city's skyline. But it's not just about the style, it's about the stories these structures tell. They speak of a time when Florence was a beacon of culture and knowledge, of a city that was the birthplace of the Renaissance, a hub of commerce and power. They are living reminders of Florence's vibrant past, standing tall and proud, narrating tales of bygone eras to anyone who'd listen. Each architectural marvel in Florence tells a story of the city's vibrant past. So as we walk through the cobblestone streets of Florence, let's listen to the tales these structures tell, 
for they are the silent custodians of Florence's rich history. Scene script, Florence is a paradise for art lovers. Indeed, the city is a living, breathing gallery, its streets and buildings adorned with the masterpieces of the Renaissance. The heart of this art lover's paradise is undoubtedly the Uffizi Gallery and Academia Gallery, homes to some of the world's most celebrated works of art. The Uffizi Gallery, one of the oldest and most famous art museums in the world, is a testament to Florence's rich artistic heritage. It houses a grand collection of priceless works, primarily from the period of Italian Renaissance. As you wander through its halls, you'll encounter the genius of artists such as Botticelli, Michelangelo, and Leonardo da Vinci. Botticelli's The Birth of Venus and Primavera are two of the most celebrated pieces here, their ethereal beauty capturing the essence of Renaissance ideals. Not far from the Uffizi, you'll find the Accademia Gallery, another gem in Florence's artistic crown. The Academia is most famous for housing Michelangelo's David, one of the most recognized works of Renaissance sculpture. The sheer size and intricate detailing of David leave countless visitors in awe each year. But it's not just the famous names that make Florence's art scene so captivating. The city is also home to lesser-known artists who made significant contributions to the world of art. Artists like Paolo Uccello, Domenico Ghirlandaio, and Andrea del Sarto, whose works grace the walls of these galleries, offer a deeper understanding of the artistic landscape of the Renaissance period. Florence's art is more than just a feast for the eyes. Each painting, each sculpture tells a story of the city's past, its culture, its people. Every brush stroke, every chiseled line is a testament to the city's artistic prowess and its enduring love for beauty and creativity. Indeed, the art of Florence is a window into its soul. It's a reflection of its history, its triumphs, and its spirit. It's a testament to the city's enduring love for beauty, creativity, and the human spirit. It's a legacy that continues to inspire artists and art lovers around the world. The art of Florence is a window into its soul. Florence's vibrant cultural heritage is deeply rooted in its local traditions. The city's character is a colorful tapestry, woven with time-honored customs, lively festivals, and events that echo the rhythm of the seasons. Each thread of this tapestry tells a story, reflecting the city's rich history and unique identity. Let's delve into the heart of Florentine tradition, starting with the city's annual events. A key highlight of the Florentine calendar is the historical football game, Calcio Storico, a spectacle that traces its roots back to the 16th century. This unique blend of soccer, rugby, and wrestling is more than just a game. It's a testament to Florence's enduring connection to its past. Similarly, the Scopio del Caro, or the explosion of the cart, is another centuries-old Easter tradition that lights up the city both literally and figuratively. This event symbolizes the city's deep-rooted religious faith and the community's spirit of togetherness. Beyond annual events, Florence's cultural heritage resonates in its everyday life. The tradition of artisan craftsmanship is alive and well in the city's numerous workshops, where you can witness the creation of beautiful leather goods, intricate gold jewelry, and stunning marbled paper. And then there's the tradition of the aperitivo. This pre-dinner ritual is a time-honored custom where Florentines unwind with a glass of wine and a selection of small bites cherishing the simple pleasures of life. In Florence, traditions are not relics of the past, but living, breathing aspects of the city's present. They are a testament to the city's ability to honor its rich history while continually evolving and adapting. So whether it's the excitement of Calcio Storico, the spiritual symbolism of Scopio del Caro, the artistic mastery of local artisans, or the conviviality of the aperitivo, these traditions infuse Florence with a unique charm that captivates the hearts of locals and visitors alike. Florence's cultural heritage is a testament to its rich history and unique identity. This city isn't just a place, it's a living, breathing story that continues to unfold with each passing day. Florentine cuisine is a delicious blend of tradition and innovation. Rooted in the Cucina Povera tradition, or poor kitchen, the food of Florence embodies the ethos of simplicity and resourcefulness. It's a cuisine that celebrates the quality of ingredients over complexity of preparation. At the heart of Florentine cuisine are traditional dishes like 
Bistetka a la Fiorentina, a T-bone steak sourced from the Chianina cattle of Tuscany, grilled to perfection and seasoned with nothing more than a touch of salt and olive oil. The result? A culinary masterpiece that's as simple as it is sumptuous. Let's not forget ribolita, a hearty bread soup packed with vegetables and beans. Originally a meal made by servants from the leftovers of their master's feast, ribolita is now a symbol of Tuscan cuisine, showcasing the region's knack for turning simple ingredients into dishes bursting with flavor. But it's not just these traditional dishes that make Florentine cuisine so special. It's also the local specialties like Lampredato, a sandwich filled with the fourth stomach of a cow, considered a delicacy by locals and a must-try for adventurous food lovers. Florence is also home to a thriving food market scene. The Mercato Centrale, for instance, is a food lover's paradise. Brimming with stalls selling everything from fresh produce and local cheeses to artisan breads and Tuscan wines. It's an experience that engages all the senses, a vibrant display of Florence's gastronomic culture. And then there are the dining experiences, from traditional trattorias serving home-style Tuscan fare to Michelin-starred restaurants pushing the boundaries of Italian cuisine, Florence offers a dining scene as diverse as it is delicious. So whether you're feasting on a bistecca alla Fiorentina in a bustling osteria, savoring a bowl of ribolita in a cozy trattoria, or exploring the myriad of flavors at the Mercato Centrale, you're not just eating, you're partaking in a culinary tradition steeped in history and culture. Florentine cuisine is a culinary journey you won't want to miss. Florence's history has been shaped by influential families like the Medicis. As we delve into the annals of Florentine history, one name stands out, the Medici family. This dynasty, which rose to prominence in the 14th century, held a profound influence over Florence for nearly 300 years. Their legacy, however, extends far beyond their political might echoing through the corridors of time in the form of art, architecture, and culture. The Medicis were not just rulers, they were visionaries and patrons of the arts. Their keen interest in humanism and the burgeoning Renaissance movement fueled a cultural revolution, turning Florence into a beacon of artistic and intellectual enlightenment. It was under their patronage that artists like Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and Botticelli found support and inspiration creating masterpieces that still captivate the world today. But the Medicis weren't solely focused on art. They were architects of society, shaping Florence's socio-political landscape through strategic alliances, marriages, and financial power. Their influence reached the very heart of the city, from the grandeur of the Palazzo Medici to the hallowed halls of the University of Florence. And then there was Cosimo de' Medici, the family's patriarch a man whose foresight and acumen guided Florence into an era of prosperity and cultural richness. His vision was carried forward by his descendants, most notably Lorenzo de' Medici, also known as Lorenzo the Magnificent, whose reign is often considered the golden age of Florence. But the story of Florence isn't just about the Medicis. Other influential families left their mark too, like the Strozzi and the Pazzi, each contributing to the city's complex historical tapestry. Their rivalries and alliances their successes and failures all played a part in shaping Florence into the city we know and love today. The influence of Florence's famous families can still be felt in the city today. Their legacy lives on in the city's vibrant art scene, its magnificent architecture, and its enduring cultural traditions. As we walk the cobblestone streets of Florence, we walk in the shadows of these great families, each step a testament to their indelible imprint on this city of the Renaissance. Florence's parks and gardens add a touch of green to this historic city. Just imagine the Renaissance cityscape, punctuated by verdant oases where locals and visitors can escape the hustle and bustle of the city. Two such havens stand out, the Boboli Gardens and Parco del Cassin. The Boboli Gardens, situated behind the Pitti Palace, are more than just a park. They're an open-air museum, a testament to the grandeur of the Renaissance era. As you wander through its verdant paths, you'll stumble upon an array of sculptures dating from the 16th through the 18th centuries, nestled amidst the lush greenery. The garden's layout, a perfect example of Italian garden design, influenced many European courts. The wide avenues, the hidden corners, the grottos, 
and the fountains all add to the charm of this enchanting space. Then there's the Parco delle Cassine, Florence's largest public park. Stretching along the Arno River, this park has been a place for leisurely walks, picnics, and even horse racing for centuries. A former hunting ground for the Medici family, the park now serves as a communal backyard for Florentines. It's a place where people gather to play sports, relax, and even shop at the weekly market. The park's landscape, dotted with ancient trees, wide open spaces, and a monument dedicated to the Indian goddess Indira Gandhi, offers a serene respite from the city's crowded streets. But these are not the only green spaces in Florence. The city also boasts numerous smaller gardens and parks, each with its own unique charm. These green spaces, whether grand or intimate, offer a welcome contrast to the city's stone facades and narrow streets. They're a testament to Florence's commitment to preserving its natural beauty amidst its rich cultural heritage. Florence's parks and gardens are a breath of fresh air amidst its bustling city life. They serve as a reminder that in a city teeming with art, history, and culture, nature, too, has its own story to tell. Florence is a city of many facets, each more fascinating than the last. We've journeyed through its historical significance, tracing the footsteps of the Renaissance and the influential families that shaped its cultural landscape. We've marveled at architectural wonders that stand as a testament to its glorious past and admired the masterpieces that fill its museums. We've immersed ourselves in the rich traditions that add to Florence's unique character and savored the flavors of its gastronomical delights. We've experienced the charm of its neighborhoods, the tranquility of its parks, and the vibrancy of its fashion scene. But remember, this is just a glimpse. To truly appreciate Florence, one must walk its cobblestone streets, breathe in its history, taste its cuisine, and live its lifestyle. So, I encourage you to embark on your own Florentine adventure. Experience Florence and immerse yourself in its rich cultural tapestry. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our video, and stay tuned for more exciting content.